I have the Samsung Galaxy A34 and I'll be showing you how to add the Arabic keyboard onto this phone. Now I'll show you two ways. One is for people using the Samsung keyboard. Secondly, I'll also show you how to do it for people using the Gboard or the Google keyboard. So let's start with Samsung keyboard users. Go to settings. On the main settings page, go to general management, tap on that. And then go to Samsung keyboard settings, tap on that. You can see the current language is English. What you need to do is tap on languages and types and then tap on the language that's currently there. So as you can see, this is currently English UK. So go ahead and tap on manage input languages and then you should see Arabic. You can either enable it or maybe you have to download it. If you don't see it here, then you can look for it in the list and download it, okay? But since mine is just right here, Arabic, all I need to do is enable the language inside the Samsung keyboard. Now, if you go back, you can actually see it gets added to the list. And so now, when I go to use the keyboard, this is the Samsung keyboard. So to switch to the Arabic keyboard, simply tap on this globe icon here. So if you tap on that, it can now switch to the Arabic keyboard and you can now go ahead and type in Arabic. Okay, so that's for Samsung keyboard users. If you use the Gboard as your default keyboard, then go to settings. On the main settings page, go to general management. And since Gboard is your default keyboard, you should see Gboard settings instead of Samsung uh, keyboard settings, you should see Gboard settings. So tap on that and then tap on languages and then tap on add keyboard and then select or rather look for the Arabic keyboard. Here we are. So tap on Arabic and then there are different types of Arabic keyboards you can use. Let's select Arabic keyboard from Morocco. Okay, and then tap on done. And that's it. You can now see Arabic keyboard has been added to the list. You can now hit the back button all the way. And now, again, whenever you're required to use a keyboard. So as you can see, this is the default Gboard. Again, tap on this globe icon here to change the input. And now you can see it changes to Arabic. Okay. So those are the two ways of adding the Arabic keyboard to your Samsung Galaxy a34. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.